Ted, last year when the 1.2 million subscriber loss was reported and the stock price fell, uh, there was, and this was actually reported in many sort of platforms and newspapers, there was sort of a, almost audible glee in Hollywood, right? To see a giant tumble, also because you appended every rule that was and that <laughs> existed till then. At that point, Ted, did you have a sort of a dark night of the soul? Did you, were you afraid and how did you get past it? Um, like I was saying earlier, the company was really built to be resilient. So, uh, and I also, I try to have great perspective. So people say a lot of very nice things about Netflix. We've been, we have, we have been in this business for 25 years. We have one business, this is all we do. So we have to be great at it. Proudest of, of Netflix India has been that ability to just keep going. You know, um, yes, we started out pretty slow. We were trying to figure, had a lot to figure out. Uh, but just the ability to keep going and making great programming. Um, if you want to see, we just released this, we, you mentioned the doc, romantics. I, for me, the, I want to make this mandatory viewing in the company where I want every one of our employees, all 10,000 people to watch all episodes of this documentary to learn about this incredible rich history of cinema in India. Um, the storytelling is great. It tells you so much about the culture here and the business culture and the storytelling culture. Um, I learned more in that four hours than I have learned in the last 20 years trying to figure out India uh, for, for movies and television shows. And I'm super proud of the fact that we're in the discussion um, um, uh, when we talk about Indian cinema, which is you know something to be so proud of. Um, and I think even this year, like I said, with Oscar nominees from India uh, and our being able to drive audiences to films that they've never seen before from place, new places in the world, it's a lot to be proud of. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to end, Ted, with a few questions from the Proust questionnaire. Um, what is your idea of perfect happiness? Perfect happiness. Uh, it's a, in, the, I, in life or? Uh, in life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think that I, am, I, I, think I have a, ver a version of it, uh, which is people are always constantly trying to figure out what the life-work balance is. And I have figured out that there is no life-work balance. So do something you love. And I do that. I get to do the thing I love. Which living person do you most admire? If it's very, um, that's a long list. It's very hard n not to, um, to look at the resilience of um, not just uh, President Zelensky, but the people of the Ukraine. And, and the, what they've been through and the, res, and the strong resilience of those people. It's amazing. On what occasion do you lie, Ted? I'm sorry? On what occasion do you lie? Oh, hardly ever. It's, the problem is I can't remember things very well. So if you lie, you have to have a very good memory to lie. So. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, what is your motto? My motto is, is <laughs> this is a business motto I ask the teams all the time, is the juice worth the squeeze? So is this going to be so big that you'd be willing to put up with almost anything to make it work? Uh, so when someone wants to do something that's really hard or really controversial or really difficult, I say, is the juice worth the squeeze? Nice. <laughs> Ted, thank you so much. It's always such a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you.